Hey there, and welcome back. Today I am going to continue the engine rebuild for Barn Sprite number 5. This is a 1275cc that is going to go into the Austin Healy Sprite, known as Barn Sprite number 5. Originally, I was going to put a 948 in the car. I got that engine done, but now a 1275 is going to go in. This engine was completely seized up when I took it apart. So today I'm going to go over what needed to be fixed and how much it costs for all the machining and all of the new parts. The engine block is machined and ready to go. Behind it you can see I have media blasted all of the steel parts. A few other parts over there still to get cleaned up. And then over here we have the machined crankshaft. Both the connecting rod and main bearings needed machined only to 10 over and the thrust washers are going to stay standard. New studs have been put in the connecting rods along with new nuts obviously they have been cleaned up as well. New pistons are on there, but I still need to put on the new piston rings. And then the head has been machined. It has new valves, new springs, and the head ended up being cracked. At first, when we first tested it, it didn't look like it was cracked. And then luckily it was tested for cracks again right before it was done. And so the head had to be welded up, which added quite a bit of cost to the machine work. For the camshaft, I'm going to be reusing the original camshaft. And then over here is all the spare parts. All the new parts that went into just this part of the machine work were $633.85. So that would be things like the pistons, the rings, the bearings, the valves, springs, things like that. So I have the invoice for all the machine work here. The big expense on here was the crack repair on the head which was $757 so the total for the machine work came out to $1,805 if the head wasn't cracked it would have been only $1,048 so you can see just to refresh the machine work on your engine you could be into it for quite a bit of money and that's before you bought all the other new parts that you're going to need over here I got a new timing chain as well as both the sprockets for the camshaft and crankshaft as well as the other parts that you would need for that job that ended up being $73 for all of those parts and I should mention all these parts came from Moss Motors and the prices you're seeing right now are the prices that I paid uh, prices on things seem to be going up all the time so don't expect your price to be the same as what you see here I would suggest that if you do think that you're going to need something, you probably should buy it now before prices go up any further because it seems like parts that I bought five years ago were much cheaper than what I'm paying now. Moving on, I got a new thermostat. That was $8 and I'm replacing all the push rods. Technically there's nothing wrong with these push rods. They're straight and they would work but they're showing a lot of rust on there and just to keep that out of the engine, I ordered all new push rods. So that was $36.42. I am also going to upgrade to a spin-on oil filter. So the adapter costs $117. That is going to eliminate the original canister style oil filter. The tops of the tappets were not breaking down, but they are showing a lot of wear. So I'm putting on a full new set. That's $65. You could paint your engine any color that you like, but I will be going with the original color. So I ordered three cans of the correct paint from Moss. And then over here I have three gasket sets, the lower set, the upper set, and then a silicone valve cover gasket. That is made by my good friend Joe Alexander. He puts on the Kastner Cup, the Triumph race every year, and he makes these silicone valve cover gaskets and you can buy them from places like Moss Motors. All the gasket sets cost me almost $140. So the total cost for everything comes out to $2,937.13. This does not include shipping for any of these parts. It does not include the labor for me tearing down, cleaning, sandblasting all these parts. And of course, I'll have to still put this all together still as well. So that's why if you paid a shop to do an engine for you, you will easily spend between $5,000 to $10,000 today to get an engine rebuilt. The parts are just so expensive as well as the machine work that this is not like the old days where you could get things done for under a thousand dollars. That's going to be it for today. If you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe. Oh, and let me know if you want to see a video of me assembling this engine. I have assembled A-series engines before on my channel, but if you want to see it again, comment below and let me know that you want to see this in another video.